In this exercise, we are going to make a soccer ball or football in SolidWorks. So, this is the simple example. So, let's start and here we are going to start with top plane sketch. Now, activate here polygon and keep here 5 number of sides inscribed and let me draw 1, 3 circles, a 3 po polygons. The second one I will keep for construction, third one also I am going to keep for construction. Okay. Now, let us create few relations, vertical, second one also vertical and the third one also keep vertical, the smart dimension 100 millimeter, 50 millimeter. Okay. Now, here important thing, let me Now hold shift key and select these two lines equal. Look, this is the important relation. Now exit, activate front plane sketch, activate line tool, Okay. Now hold shift key point and select this line pairs. Similarly for this also select line and point pairs. Look. Now activate polygon and here choose 6 number of sides inscribed and start from here. Now select this point and select this line and make relation midpoint. Look and these 50 millimeter. This is a reference, actually this is a reference. For construction all, look, exit and we want to create a plane. So, simply activate, drop down the menu of feature, activate plane. Now, first reference I am going to choose this line. Now, second reference I am going to choose this line, perpendicular. No, not perpendicular, perpendicular on this one. Now, see, we want to create on this sketch. Now, here the important thing, let us activate polygon and start from the center point and make sure this is hexagon. Okay. Hold shift key, select these two parallel line and connect these two points. Now create important relation, hold shift key, select this line and this line equal. Look, isometric view, exit. Now let me hide unnecessary plane, even this one also you can hide. Now here activate axis, I am going to choose this one and this point and this is going to create one axis, okay. Similarly again activate axis, top plane and select this point, say okay, 
again activate point and here select these two lines and this is going to met here so we want to create a intersection point see this point is going to create ok now here activate lifted boss base feature first select this one now here select close loop say yes now again select this center point or point what we created no need to change anything just come down ok no need to change anything just keep as it is now here show sketch 1 even edit sketch 1 and here we make these two lines solid lines exit now here let's place better to place one 3d sketch point and place one point here ok exit now these 3d point will help us more than this lifted boss base now 3d sketch point selected now let me select this one and here choose this arrow and select the close geometry say ok now similarly I am going for this also but one more thing you have to be make sure edit unmerge result you want to merge letter lifted boss base now here select group now this time I am going to select this all lines one by one say now this is close created say ok now again select this point or simply 3d sketch see here come down unmerge result see merge result uncheck say ok again lifted boss base now here drop down sketch 3 just right click show now see point already selected let's select this one let's try to see no it's not going to select close so we have to select all the edges lines and create one close group now this is a close group say ok look unmerge result say ok now here we have four bodies now here let's right click hide front plane sketch now I am going to create one sketch center point arc start from this point and create one half circle something like this up to this hundred millimeter and uh, make sure let's say now this is going to be fully defined okay let's try this is fully defined now go to surface revolve surface and select center of axis of revolution this one say okay offset surface keep two millimeter make sure this is going come outside say ok now right click on body show now we want to trim this one so simply cut with surface select inside surface make sure the arrow should be goes inside selected body auto select say yes now look the center one is deleted cut with surface select this time outside arrow goes inside so simply reverse direction say ok look now let's hide this select both the surfaces click hide now this is the our result but I feel there is some problem in sketch 2 see this is vertical this is not this should be parallel distance so 
edit and delete this distance and make sure smart dimension it should be parallel distance not vertical 50 that's it exit now click on all these sketches hide activate circular pattern direction I am going to choose this axis and here I am going to select body this is going to be body 366 number of instances equal spacing say ok again activate circular pattern this time I am going to choose this axis and here we need 5 instances body I am going to select this see here say ok now the important thing just go to direct editing and here you will find combine option add and I am going to select these all say ok now this is going to be one select this one add and uh, this all going to select and combine and this is the one now if you see here we have only two body now let's apply fillet constant size fillet and keep 0.75 millimeter and I, I'm going to select one edge and here you will see this option I'll go to uh, up to end it will select all the edges of this 0.75 say ok similarly I am going to select any one edge and it will give you option fillet chamfer activate fillet if you don't find option again click fillet from here now choose and you will see this pop up window so I am going to select connected 14 edges the last one and it is going to select all the edges say ok look now circular pattern direction I am going to choose this axis body I am going to select this one and keep 5 number of instances 360 equal spacing you will see the preview say ok look now let's assemble all the things now move copy body now one two select copy now here we want what now here select axis and this time I am going to choose this axis and degree 120 see it is perfectly moving like this say ok now again activate circular point axis let's select this one and bodies these two bodies 5 number of instances 360 degree equal spacing and just check the body say ok and this is we are going to be exactly half now top top plane we want to create a plane and uh, front plane top plane and here reference to I am going to choose point see at start we created a point ok now let's copy mirror select mirror now axis already selected now bodies now here select all now look say ok now let me hide this plane click and hide now here one problem it is overlap so go to direct editing move copy uncheck now here we have to select all the upper one one by one which is going to be copy or not copy it's going to move actually 
now all the upper ones selected go to rotate come down and here select axis so this is the our main axis see let's define angle 36 degree make sure you unmerge copy say okay this is going to be rotate look this is all copied now let's hide hide all the point and axis everything and this is our soccer ball now let's apply color real view and here edit appearance and in appearance choose select body clear this one here simply choose body and uh, now I'll select this pentagon type of all bodies and I'll choose black for them Now here all selected, say OK. Again select and this time clear body. White color. even though you can apply plastic high gloss white say ok now look our football is created if you see section view look don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching